Well, good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm Pastor King at Memorial Tabernacle Church here in Oakland, California. Um, I'm coming to you with a very urgent and uh, sincere message regarding the uh, COVID-19 uh, um, shelter-in-place notice that we received uh, from our county officials and mayor and governor. Um, as some of you already know and may have received a letter in the mail uh, dated March the 11th um, to inform you of our church's decision to remain uh, open during this crisis. Now, that decision still stands. However, we will continue uh, to monitor the crisis each day and make changes and modifications uh, where they are needed. And we will also keep you informed. And little did I or anyone else know at that time that things would change uh, so quickly in regards to how rapidly this disease would spread and affect the lives of so many in our community, in our churches, uh, in our nation. And as you know, uh, an order has come down from our governor, uh, Gavin Newsom, uh, our mayor, Libby Shaft, um, county and health officials and professionals uh, of a public uh, quarantine of all citizens to remain in their home <clears throat> until April 7th in order to slow down the spread uh, of this disease. <clears throat> now, I'd like to read the statement um, that they sent to us in part. And it states today, Alameda County joined six other Bay Area health jurisdictions to issue an order to our respective residents to shelter at home for three weeks beginning March the 17th. In effect of last night at midnight, the order limits activities, travel, and business functions to only the most essential. And I'd like to under underline that word essential needs. Um, the order will remain in place through April the 7th and the county will continue to monitor the situation and adjust as needed. And the letter uh, further states that we recognize how disruptive this action may be to our communities and may I also say church, and want to note the following. One, we have evidence of widespread community transmission in Alameda County, which is where our church resides, and have seen an acceleration of increase in cases in the region. Two, we must act now to slow down the spread of COVID-19, as the, as the virus is called, in our communities and decrease its reach beyond uh, the Bay Area. Now, the joint action by and the unity of seven health jurisdictions underscores the fact that unprecedented actions to stop this new disease must be taken now. And Alameda County has a duty to, to protect health and promote well-being for people living and working in our communities. Our communities are resilient, resourceful, and have a history of coming together to overcome adversities. What then are uh, these essential needs as we see them as Christians? Well, the, first of all, the Bible says, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's found in Hebrews 11 and 1. So as Christians, we live by this verse with the understanding that we believe in a God we cannot see. But we see his work in our lives and all around us in creation each and every day. He's a God of miracles. He's a God of outstanding wonders. And we do all of this through faith. Because we know that faith pleases God. And the Bible and the scriptures also say in 11, Hebrews 11 and 6. And without faith it is impossible to please him. For whatever would draw near, or whoever would draw near to God must believe that he 
is and that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Now, our church feels strongly that we will not only overcome, but we will be victorious in this battle over sickness and disease because of our essential need, and that is faith in God. Because he has the power to heal and to deliver. And through the power of his shed blood, we know that all things are possible and that we are healed. So we're asking all of you and our members and friends and worshipers uh, to pray for us and to pray for all churches everywhere because this is something new for us. And so we're trying our best to uh, follow the mandates um, of our officials and be in compliance and not be reckless but I also have a strong sense and belief that I must keep the doors of the house of God open. So please continue to practice good health and hygiene routines that we have um, posted on our websites and our church. Washing your hands with soap and water. And please check our website uh, for other things and information you can use and to do to keep you and your family safe. And as we face this season of the resurrection, which we call Easter, uh, let us not forget whom and to whom we serve. And so Tiffany and I join with you and the entire Christian community in prayer and ask you to pray for others in our nation for divine healing and for mitigation of this disease. And so we do hope to see you in our worship service and even in Bible study this week. And for those members who feel strongly that you cannot and will not be able to attend, we do understand. And we're trying to establish a strong uh, streaming service so that you can be a part of our worship. Until then, may God bless you and may God keep us all, and may he heal our nation and our land. Thank you for listening.